Wise minds tell us we can't rely on potential. We can't overlook red flags to just believe in the potential of what could be with the person. But who that nation and the New Orleans Saints are the most toxic relationship of 2024. The New Orleans Saints have now fallen to two and three after a 26 to 13 loss to the Kansas City Chiefs. And I've had enough. Step into it. So the New Orleans Saints recently had two losses to the Eagles and the Falcons where we definitely should have won both games. So we're coming in hungry as we head into Arrowhead. Man, y'all, it's just tough. It's tough to see and just watch what we saw tonight. And I'm gonna just give y'all my quick recap, my quick summary of the quarter, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter notes, as well as the fourth quarter, and just my thoughts and opinions heading forward. First quarter, the, the offense is rolling. It's looking good. We're seeing Alvin Kamara get into the passing game. We're seeing the offensive line hold up here and there, but we're seeing Chris Jones begin to wreak havoc on the interior line, and we see Derek Carr throw up a crazy, like a crazy throwaway ball that makes no sense. It makes no sense at this point. You're you're a, you're a double digit year veteran, man. This is your 11th year. You can't be making mistakes like that. He just threw it up in the air. I don't know if he was trying to throw it out of bounds or what he was trying to do, but at this point in your career, Derek Carr, you cannot do this, man. You can't do this. We had all eyes nationally watching us and the most important eyes for who that nation, Devontae Adams watching us after the Jets just put on an abysmal show just this past Sunday. So it's just, it's frustrating, man. We had a chance to turn things around and with Atlanta now being at the top of the division, Tampa's rolling. It's just, it's just frustrating right now as a New Orleans Saints fan. And just to see Derek Carr just throw it up in the air, it kind of summarized the whole game and the overall look of the whole team for the last season and a half. This is an unfocused football team, man. So we get into the second quarter. The defense is falling apart against Patrick Mahomes. Falling apart, man. But but I won't even blame. The defense didn't do as bad as people will say. They were very bend but don't break. They gave up some <coughs> some big plays. They gave up some they gave up some some plays. But I do think the offense is the sole focus for these last three losses, man. It's just unacceptable what we're seeing from the offensive end. Taysom Hill should not be that important to the New Orleans Saints. He's 34 years old. He's a Swiss Army knife. We know what he brings. He's an excellent football player. He's one of the most talented football players, honestly, in the league. But he shouldn't mean that much to your offense to where you cannot push the ball. You cannot move the ball. You cannot do anything unless he's in the game. Anytime we have not seen a successful Saints offense without Taysom Hill this season. We see plays here and there, and that's what we saw in the second and third quarter. We saw plays here and there by the offense, but honestly, the Saints were never in this game. They never felt like they had control of this game, and even when they, um, even when they minimized the lead and brought the, and scored in the fourth quarter, they missed the field goal. Instead of being 14-16, it was 13-16. It just felt like things never went the Saints way the entire game. So going back to the second quarter, we see the defense beginning to, to fall. You're beginning to see the holes in the defense. We're beginning to see Cam Jordan look a little old, but then in the second half, you did see him make some plays and get some pressures. But we, we, we didn't really see much from the offense at all in the second quarter. We just saw the defense kind of getting picked apart by Patrick Mahomes which is something that you can expect from Patrick Mahomes but we've seen this defense give up some big plays both against the Eagles and the Falcons so it's something that's concerning from a Dennis Allen led team that supposed to be prided on defense especially in the secondary but we're seeing players wide open Travis Kelsey we're seeing Juju Smith Schuster who we haven't heard of since TikTok make some plays it's just getting crazy right now so we head into the to the second half and the third quarter was more of what we've seen before. The, the defense was bending but don't break, held, holding Patrick Mahomes and their team to three points. And we're seeing Caitlin Saunders get an interception. So we began to have hope. And as we head into the fourth quarter, it was about the offense stepping up. And the offense didn't do that. We didn't see plays made. Derek Carr is not missing, is not recognizing receivers. O o Olave is open a lot of the time and he's being missed. And we're seeing Mason Tipton get targeted more than Chris Olave. And then I'm just wondering why they don't have Jamal Williams at running back and then have Alvin Kamara out at wide receiver. 
Obviously, running with Alvin Kamara on the outside zone runs is not helping. I'm tired of seeing swing passes that are going nowhere. That's three games in a row. We have not seen it. And Clint Kubiak continues to run these plays. I just don't get it, man. I don't get it. It's frustrating to watch as a fan. It's frustrating to see the Saints do the same thing and get the same results. We're seeing undisciplined play. We're seeing Chris Olave with a illegal motion, a five-yard penalty that negated a crucial third down conversion. Just frustrated, man. It's frustrating to see this team unfocused and Going into this season, we had faith. Looking at the first two games, we seen what this team could be. We seen the potential. But who they really are really came out. And the New Orleans Saints just are not living up to the standards. And, and this is what this team football team is. They're an undisciplined, unfocused football team. And Saints fans are tired. Dennis Allen has to go. Derek Carr, I don't know what this is. We're tied to him for this year. So he just has to be better. I did see him leave the game in the fourth quarter due to a lower back. He got hit pretty hard on his last on the last possession for him with the Saints offense. And we seen Jake Hayner come in, but I honestly like everybody else would rather see Spencer Rattler. He's a little bit more mobile quarterback. Um, just someone that might be more exciting for Saints fans at this point in the season where it feels like all hope is beginning to be lost. Man, I'm just giving y'all my early thoughts. I'm tired of this team. I'm tired of the decisions. I'm tired of them not using Alvin Kamara. In the, in the in the passing game as as much as they should there's no linebacker in the league that can cover alvin kamara in the passing game and they refuse to to, to use him they it's like they go into a game plan unwilling to make adjustments and that's what we've been seeing for the last year and a half a team unwilling to make adjustments and that's what makes the new orleans saints the most toxic team for their fan base in the nfl I'm smiling, but I'm really hurting, and I'm really tired, and it's a long week ahead of us, so I'm going to get to bed. But thank you guys for watching the show. Before I go, I always have a piece of advice or, or wisdom before I go, before we get through this week, and that's just to remain focused. Sometimes we look at the disruptions and the distractions in our life, and we're praying that they go away, or we're hoping that they go away, or we're trying to solve them. But instead of maybe trying to solve them, Maybe we need to pray for strength mentally, physically, and emotionally to withstand the storms and to stay focused on the road ahead. But thank you guys for watching the show. It's your boy Merv. <sighs> on to Tampa. Who that? <laughs>